Hey, Jaden. It's been a while since we last talked. How are things going? Oh, is it clear? I didn't expect you at all. Things are going well. Thanks for asking. I'm really busy with work lately, but it's all good. How about you? Oh, I'm just fine as usual. Just wanted to check in on you and know how you're doing. Oh, okay. Good to hear it. You know you can always reach out to me whenever you ever need help. That's what brothers are for, right? Yeah, sure. I just wanted to let you know that I'm planning to grace our parents' house with my presence very soon. You know, I have three kids and they're a handful, and my husband is away on a business trip for a month, so I need our parents' support more than ever. I think this is the perfect time for me to return home. I see. I totally understand that it's not easy taking care of three young children on your own, especially when your husband is not at home. When are you planning to pay us a visit exactly? Mm, I don't know. Maybe next week? I'm trying to organize my time. But I'm not just staying there for a few days and then leaving, you know. I'm gonna be staying there permanently. What? Are you serious? You mean, you want to move here and live with us? Yeah, what's wrong? Aren't you thrilled to hear that? I mean, of course I do want to meet my nieces and nephew and I'm sure that my son, Kane, will be over the moon when he hears this piece of news. Kane is a little playful yet sociable boy. I know he will get along well with your children. But before moving in, there's something you need to know. About that, I don't think my children need to be associated with someone like Kane. He's just the son of a garbage man after all. Tell him to stay away from my kids. What do you mean? Why should Kane stay away from your kids? Wait a minute, you're saying that my son can't get near your children because I'm a garbage collector? Ugh, excellent. I'm glad you understand. When I arrive with my kids, I don't want to see you or Kane. And if you can, please ask your wife to stay away as well. You know how particular I am about cleanliness, right? So please tell your whole family to stay out of our sight when my kids and I are in the house. I'm sure you're all covered in germs and you'll make everyone around you get sick. I am not going to let you jeopardize my children's health. <laughs> I can't believe people like you still exist. I mean, seriously? What do you ever do other than collecting garbage all day? You're so filthy and unhygienic. What's your problem? Why are you saying such hurtful things to me? I'm your big brother and I deserve your respect. I'm not sure why you're insulting my chosen profession. I'm proud of the work I do and I don't appreciate you putting it down. My job may not be glamorous, but it's important for me and for everyone else, including you. In fact, people like us play an important role in keeping our communities clean and healthy. Ugh, please spare me the sob story. Your job is not important. It's just a glorified way of picking up trash. And I'm surely not proud of it. I mean, serious talk here. What kind of person even wants a garbage collector as a brother? I bet you love spending all day surrounded by garbage, getting your hands all dirty and smelling like a dumpster. It must be such a joy. I mean, how could you possibly survive sticking your hands in that stuff all day long? But I'm sure you've developed quite the immunity to germs and bacteria, what with all the waste you have to deal with on a daily basis. What's so wrong with me being a garbage collector? Being a garbage collector is a respectable profession, and it doesn't make me any less hygienic than anyone else. I take great care of my personal hygiene, and I always make sure to shower and change clothes after work. I also wear protective gear while I'm working, so I'm not exposed to any harmful germs or bacteria. You have no rights to judge me based on my job title. Whatever. I feel disgusted that you even touch everything in the house with your filthy hands. I'm gonna have to ask our parents to disinfect the house before me and the kids arrive or else we'll get all sick from your germs. I've already told you, no one is getting sick. I've been living with my family for years and we're all healthy and happy. My son Kane is a thriving young boy and my wife and I are planning to have more children. Are you serious about having more kids? That's hilarious. Who would want to bring more garbage collectors into this world? Our society already has enough of them. Tell me the honest truth, Jaden. How much do you actually contribute to the household income? I'm guessing it's not much since you're just mooching off of mom and dad's pension to get by all these years. That's also the reason why you and your wife moved in the house in the first place, right? 
You couldn't afford to live on your own, so you had to move in with your parents and sponge off of them. I'm not sure where you got the idea that I'm relying on our parents financially. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself and my family, and I have been. My wife and I have been paying our own bills for years, and we've never asked our parents for money. Hmm. Not only do you take advantage of our parents' money, but you also want them to look after your kids and do the domestic chores for free. You're a complete and utter leech, Jaden. You're gross, both physically and mentally. I'm really ashamed to have a brother like you. How long are you going to keep taking advantage of our parents' kindness? Don't you know that their age is getting to them? I bet you think you can use them as much as you want, huh? Why do you keep accusing me of taking advantage of our parents? I'm grateful for their help, but I'm not reliant on them. My wife and I both work full-time, and I sometimes have to work overtime. We do our best to take care of Kane ourselves, and we always help out with the housework when we get home. Ugh, when will you and your wife become independent and live like grown adults? Do you even care about your own nieces and nephews? They really want to see their grandparents, but they can't because you and your family are always there. You're a selfish, inconsiderate person, and you're taking away their quality time with their grandparents. <laughs> what kind of person does that? Are you a homewrecker? Are you serious? You're free to visit our parents whenever you want, but you never do? You don't care about them at all. The only time you come around is when you need someone to babysit your kids so you can go out and do whatever it is you do. It's you who's being selfish and inconsiderate, not me. Don't you dare try to make me look like the irresponsible one here. You're the one who's been mooching off of our parents for years. You're a lowly garbage collector. And you have no right to accuse me of anything. You know what? I have wonderful advice for you. Why don't you just quit your job as a garbage collector? I mean, it's not like you're making any money anyway. And it would be so much less embarrassing for us to have a family member who doesn't work a filthy job. You should really consider it. It's clear that you don't have much self-respect. You think it's perfectly fine to be a garbage collector, but we don't. Claire, this is just too much. I've been trying to be nice to you this whole time, but you don't seem to have any respect for me. If you keep behaving this way, you might not be allowed to move in and live with us. <laughs> oh, please, don't make me laugh. This is my parents' house. So as the heir apparent, I'm the one who makes the decisions. You're just a lowly garbage collector, and I'm sure our dear parents would be thrilled if your lowly self disappeared from their lives. If anyone isn't allowed to live in this house, it's you and your whole family. Jaden? What's taking you so long to finish your work? It's been hours and I'm starting to lose my patience. Did you receive my texts and phone calls? Did you deliberately ignore them? What are you talking about? It's only 3 in the afternoon. I'm still at work and you've been blowing up my phone with all these texts and calls. I already told you I'm busy. Busy picking up some trash? I'm sure that'll really make a difference in this world. Seriously. You're not contributing anything meaningful to society. So why don't you just listen to my advice and quit your job? If you do that, at least your family won't have to be embarrassed by you anymore. Well, I guess it's better to be a hardworking, contributing member of society than an arrogant freeloader who sits around all day and does nothing like someone I know. Ugh! <sighs> what did you say? How dare you? Anyways... I want you to come home ASAP to gather your belongings and disappear from my house. I thought we could live together, but your family is just too smelly and disgusting for my liking. I've decided that my children and I deserve to live in a healthy environment. So you and your family need to go as far away from us as possible. I only say this one time, so don't make me ask again. You know how short-tempered I am, right? Are you serious? You're kicking me and my family out of the house? What gives you the right to do that? Stop being so ridiculous. You're acting like a three-year-old kid. You know that? Well, duh. I'm the younger sister. That's why I always get what I want. No questions asked. You should know that by now. So pack your bags and get out of my house. I'm only giving you one hour, so make it quick. The clock is ticking and I don't have all day to wait for you. Don't forget to bring all of your belongings, okay? I don't want your filthy germ-ridden things polluting the environment of the house. 
Seriously, Claire? Have you lost your mind? Why all of a sudden you just ask me to move out of the house like that? Did you even ask our parents about this? Or did you just decide everything by yourself? <laughs> Are you not thinking straight? They're my parents, and I'm their favorite child. They would go to the ends of the earth for me. They know that I'm always right, and that they can never tell me no. So why would I even bother asking them for permission? They would just say yes anyway. Just hurry up and get lost. I'm moving in tomorrow, so I don't want you and your family here anymore. Are you daydreaming, Claire? You said you would move in next week, and now you're saying you're moving in tomorrow? Seriously? You can just change your mind like that and expect everyone to follow you. What gives you the right to make decisions for everyone? What's the matter? It's just a little change in the plans. It's not like it's a big deal. I was feeling bored anyway, so I decided to move in earlier than planned. Besides, our parents seem so helpless without me. They keep begging me to come back, and I can't help but feel sorry for those old people. They seem so... <laughs> desperate. What should I do? I'm just trying to be a responsible and dutiful child. So, you've been gone for years, and now you suddenly decide to show up and act like you're the responsible one? Give me a break. You're not fooling anyone. Well, 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 look who's arguing now. It's not like you have any say in this matter. I expect the house to be cleaned of your belongings in an hour, so you better get to packing. And don't think you can waste my time with your arguing. I have better things to do. Are you seriously kidding me? What do you expect me to do in just one hour? <laughs> oh, please, don't act like you have so much to pack. It's not like you have anything of value. Just a bunch of filthy old clothes that aren't even worth of being used as a rag. It's no wonder why you and your family stink up the whole place wherever you go. I don't see why I should have to move out. This is my home too. And I have just as much right to be here as you do. If you want to move in, that's fine. But you can't just kick me and my family out. I'm not going to tolerate your insults. I'm not going to go easy on you. So you better watch your mouth. You're acting like a spoiled brat. So stop doing that and start treating others with more respect. Ugh, have you been listening to me this whole time? I can't stand living with you. You're a garbage man and you disgust me to my core. You're not only filthy, but you're also at the bottom of our social ladder. Garbage collector is a job that's only meant for the lowest of the low. And as a family with high self-respect, dignity, and intelligence, it'd be a disgrace for me and my kids to deal with the likes of you. Look... Kid, I don't know what your problem is, but don't think you can talk to me like that. I'm a garbage collector, and that's a perfectly respectable job. If you don't like it, that's your problem, not mine. I'm proud of what I do, and I'm not going to let you make me feel bad about it. So back off, and don't judge me before you know me. Seriously? When are you going to realize the negative impact you have on the people around you and society? My oldest child is only 9 years old. Can you imagine what he would become if he grew up around someone like you? He would become a freeloader, a parasite, or even a criminal. Do you really have the heart to see your own nephew's future go to ruin because of you? <sighs> As a loving, responsible, and dutiful mother, I feel the need to protect my children from terrible people like you. And where do you expect me to live from now on? I didn't even have enough time to discuss this matter with my wife. Oh, please, as if I ever cared about your problems. Just figure everything out on your own like the big boy you are. And since I'm such a good little sister, I suggest you check out the park, the streets, or the dumpster. I think you're already quite familiar with those places, right? You'll fit right in with a bunch of filthy homeless people just like you. I'm fine as long as you and your family are nowhere near me. Hurry up and move out. Chop chop before my belongings arrive. Why are you in such dire need to move in with us? You're acting suspiciously. Did your husband know about this? Is he okay with you moving in with us? Or is he coming with you? I seem to remember that his office is quite far from our parents' house. Wouldn't it be more inconvenient for him to go to work every morning? My husband? Why are you asking about him? He has nothing to do with this. I'm his wife, so I get to decide where my children and I live. My husband will be just fine on his own. Besides, he's on his business trip, so he doesn't have time to deal with these trivial things. Anyways, stop being so nosy already, you're getting on my nerves. 
Why can't you just shut up and accept what I've decided? Just move out already. We can't all live there together. It'll be too cramped. I'm the younger sister and I have three kids to take care of so I get to live there. Fine, just give me some time to sell things out and stop bombarding my phone. Jaden, where are you? I'm here at the front door and no one is answering. Did you even pack your things and move out like I told you to? If you didn't, you're in for a world of trouble. I'm already pissed off and I'm about to get a whole lot more pissed off if you don't open this door right now! Why should I move out? I see no reason for doing it. I already asked dad and he said they never agreed to let you move in in the first place. So, unless you can show me some proof that he's changed his mind, I'm not going anywhere. Besides, I found your sudden change in behavior to be very strange, especially your aggressiveness towards me. It seemed like you were desperate to move in with us, so I decided to do some investigating. Some investigation? <laughs> what, what did you do? What do you know about me? I know everything. I called your husband and he spilled the beans. I know about your divorce and I know about many other things too. You can't hide anything from me. What? Are you serious? How dare you call my husband? I already told you he's on a work trip. Did you not listen to me? Or are you just too stupid to understand human language? Well, you lied to me because your husband isn't on his business trip. He's actually staying at your old house and he forced you to move out of it because he can't stand living with you anymore. Then? It's none of your business. It's a private matter, so stay out of it, you freak. Why are you calling this a private matter? You're the one who asked me to move out of the house. You've been neglecting mom and dad for all this time, and you didn't even bother to pick up their calls. Now you think you can just come back and call it your house? What are you talking about? I would never neglect our parents. I'm just so busy with the kids and the housework, so I don't always have time to pick up the phone. You know, I'm the mother of three kids and you only have one. So how can you possibly understand what I'm going through? Don't be so big-headed and judge other people like you know them. Busy? Busy with what? Busy cheating on your husband, of course. I'm so disgusted by you. You leave your children with your parents or your husband just so you can go get busy with another man? <laughs> Ch cheating? What are you even saying? Picking up the trash all day makes you lose your mind. I already told you to stop doing that. Maybe you should get your head checked. <laughs> your husband told me everything, including your little affair. Don't even think about denying it. I never cheated on my husband. I swear. Don't believe anything my husband said to you. He's full of lies. He's been lying like that ever since... Um... Since he became an alcoholic. So now you're making up stories about your husband being an alcoholic. I didn't think you could be any more of a liar, but you just keep proving me wrong. Let me just lay it all out on the table for you. You had an affair with another man, got pregnant, and then gave birth to your youngest child, Lucille. What? Are you drunk? Of course not. I never cheated on my husband. You're just bluffing. You're not fooling anyone. Your husband has already filed for divorce and he has the evidence of your cheating. He did a DNA test and it proved that Lucille isn't his child. You're the reason why your marriage fell apart. You cheated on your husband and you destroyed your own family. Our parents already know about it and they're disappointed in you. Don't think you can hide your lies from me or our parents forever. What's done in the dark will always come to light. Ugh. Okay, fine, fine. I admit it. I cheated on my husband and he kicked me out of the house. So what? Now I need a place to live so I have to move in with my parents. You're getting in the way and you're being annoying, so back off. <sighs> you really are clueless, aren't you? Look, if you want to move in with our parents, then go ahead. I'm not preventing you from doing so. However, you may want to know what condition that our parents are in. Condition? What now? Is there anything you're still hiding from me? My wife and I are currently taking care of our mother. Ever since she had a stroke last year, she's been having a hard time taking care of herself. She needs support to do almost every day-to-day -day task. I bet the only thing you know about our mother is that she's still alive, and that's all, correct? 
You never actually cared about her or bothered to ask how she was doing. Our mother's condition is the reason why my family moved in with our parents in the first place. We wanted to stay and help our father take care of our mother. What? Are you being serious? Does she even need help going to the toilet? <laughs> That'll be totally disgusting. Well, it's what you want from the beginning, right? Moving in our parents' house and kicking us out? You can do that if you want, but it also means that you'll have to be at our mom's care 24-7. What's so difficult? Then I'll just hire a professional caregiver and they'll do the job for me. And can you afford to pay for that service? Well, I, I can't, but you can, right? You have a stable job with a stable income, so of course you can pay for the caregiver service. Last time I checked, you were acting like a complete spoiled brat to me and my family. You belittled my profession, called me names, and threatened to kick ass out of the house. Now, all of a sudden, you're acting like everything is okay and I'm the one who has to pay for the caregiver service? What's the deal? Okay, okay, I won't force you to move out of the house anymore. I apologize for asking you to do that. I realized that it was a selfish request. You and your family can stay as long as you like. Just help me take care of our invalid mother and let our family stay in the house. The smell of a cheating woman is simply too much for me to bear. It's even worse than the smell of trash. At least I can wash the smell of trash off my clothes. But there's no way to wash the smell of betrayal from you. You stink so bad that no one wants to get near you. And I'm not even being brutally honest. What? Are you literally mocking me right now? It's only me who gets to mock other people, not you. No, I mean, Jaden, I know I messed up. I was wrong and I'm truly sorry. I shouldn't have belittled your career. I now realize that it is a noble job and you deserve all the respect in the world. You're the ones who protect the environment and keep our streets clean. Without you, we'd be living in a literal dump. You are the real heroes and you deserve all the rewards and gold medals you can get. Save your breath. I'm not buying a word you say. I know that you can also have a heart of gold, right, Jaden? Can you please let me move in and also lend me some money too? My husband is demanding that I pay him the damages, but I don't have that much money to spare. On the other hand, if I don't pay him, I'll lose my children. Oh, I'm begging for your help. I know you have a child yourself, so you can understand the pain and heartbreak of having to give up a child. I am at my wit's end and I don't know what to do. Please, please help me. Wow, Claire, I think you must have marinated in perfume before going outside. What's that supposed to mean? What else? Perfume to hide the awful smell of your terrible personality? You just want to keep your children by your side so you can keep collecting child support from him, right? Why don't you get off your lazy ass and start working again instead of relying on other people's money? Your way of thinking is disgusting and you deserve nothing but the worst in life. Enjoy paying the damages to your husband and don't ever contact me again. Claire thought she could just waltz back into our house after everything she's done. But my dad wasn't having it. He was furious with her for cheating on her husband, neglecting her own parents and children, and then having the audacity to ask to move back in. He told her that she was a terrible person and that she was never welcome in our house again. In the divorce trial, Claire's husband was awarded custody of their two older children, while Lucille remained with their mother. The DNA test that proved Claire had cheated on her husband with another man was used as evidence that he was not the biological father of Lucille and therefore was not legally obligated to pay child support for her. Claire's lover left her without a second thought, leaving her to raise their daughter Lucille on her own. Claire took on the responsibility of a single parent, working two or even three jobs at a time to make ends meet. My family and I are doing well. I am proud of my job as a garbage collector. And I know that my son, Kane, is almost proud of me. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve my community. And I know that I'm making a difference in the world.